Hello everyone, and thank you for clicking on Winged Bat, home of horror reviews, half-assed setting, and other weird shit. What happened was true. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my all-time favorite films, and I grew up with Poltergeist and Salem's Laws as well, so I was very sad to read about the recent passing of director Toby Hooper. The most bizarre Though not as much of a household name as some of his contemporaries in the genre, Hooper contributed a lot to horror for so many of us, and built up a very body of work over his career as a filmmaker. I've been planning a separate video about the 1974 film for a while, but I wanted to do something more off the cuff as a tribute, so I decided to revisit the unconventional sequel from 1986 that Hooper also directed, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Released 13 years after the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the sequel follows Stretch, a radio DJ who joins a Texas marshal called Lefty, played by the late great Dennis Hopper, to find the culprits of a series of chainsaw-related murders after she hears one of the killings herself over a listener's call to her station. She is eventually kidnapped by Leatherface and the rest of the crazed cannibalistic Sawyer family, and it's up to Lefty to hunt them down. The sequel is a pretty drastic tonal and stylistic departure from the original film, which was groundbreaking for its unrelenting terror and stark, fly-on-the-wall filming style. The second is directed in a more conventional manner, but plays as a borderline absurdist black comedy and satire of 80s culture and horror films of the time. Hooper felt that audiences missed out on the dark comedy present in the original film because of its brutality, so he ramped up these elements in the follow-up. Hell, one of the posters is even a parody of the one for The Breakfast Club. The result was reviled by audiences and critics, but as the years went on, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 managed to gain a cult following in its own right. Like many Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans, I wasn't sure what to make of this movie when I first saw it. But the more I watched it and thought about it, the more it grew on me. The sheer irreverence it has for its predecessor is pretty ballsy and honestly fun to watch, more than a more conventional retread would have been. And I respect Hooper and the rest of the filmmakers for doing something different, especially at a time when the slasher genre was beginning to become played out. I also really enjoyed the cast and the characters. Caroline Williams makes for a likeable protagonist, and Dennis Hopper entertained the hell out of me every time he was on screen. The Sawyer family are probably some of my favorite characters in horror. Jim Sedow reprises his role as Drayton from the original film, and there's also the introduction of Chop Top, a hippie Vietnam vet with a metal plate in his skull played by Bill Mosley. The special effects work by Tom Savini is great, and a lot of the sets are really damn cool as well, especially the Sawyer's underground lair. Despite the 180 on style and tone, the Sawyer family antics combined with a sense of unhinged madness pervading the film, especially in the last act, still gives the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 a weird sense of belonging to the original for me. Check it out if you haven't already. Whether you like it or not, it's probably not quite like anything you've seen before.